go, man. Here we go. I don't even got no water. Oh, we about to we about to thug it I out. I got the man. coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. I, I, I hate I'm that. About to, yeah, I'm about to choke. Yeah, yeah. I got like a little sip yeah, yeah. here, but because when we be talking, you know, I know, what I, mean? I know, I know, I know. So. <laughs> Hey, yo, all right, we back, man. We back, man. We got a guest. We got a guest today. So let's get started, man. Hey, yo, what it is and what's good, y'all? Welcome back to 280 Plus, your social media podcast where I take the conversations off the timeline and go beyond the tweets. I'm your host, Lowe's Def. And uh, yo, y'all see, man, I'm here with a returning guest, man. I'm going to introduce him, man. I'm, I'm here with my brother from another, man, uh, podcast bro, uh, Jabbar Harris, man. Yo, welcome back, bro. Now, I appreciate you having me back on the show. You already know this is definitely what we do. And um, I'm, I'm thankful to be on your platform, chopping up about some sports and, you know, whatever major trending topics going on in the world culture. Yeah. And I definitely love uh, coming on here every chance that I get. But, you know, please, um, your audience, make sure y'all check out my first Bar Sports Show. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, yo, the first Bar Sports Show, man, like, over, I feel like over the summer, man, you was doing, like, a lot of different things, bro. Like, you was talking yeah. to a lot of different people. Like, my favorite, it was, it was you talking to the one dude. Is it Mike something? The light skinned boy that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Found yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, the, the comedian got the Mike uh, the Mike comedian. Oh comedian yeah. Mike Mike Murphy. Comedian Mike Murphy. Okay, comedian Mike, comedian Mike Murphy. Murphy. How'd you how'd yep. you like how'd you link up with him? Like just like, press him? like you said, yeah, like you said, like uh we don't know each other, you know what I mean? Like I just was reposting this stuff and I actually messaged him like, you know, I like I don't have no shame of giving people no love, no flowers. You you, you know, I'll give you your respect and your and, and your love and everything like that. And like like Nori says, you know what I mean, Nori Yeager, like it don't take nothing away from me. When I got going on, like I, I never, you know, I never been that way. Like I'm always confident in myself, so I have no problem just keeping it real, letting somebody know that they're nice and they good or whatever. Especially like I play sports, so you know, obviously, you know, try to compete, but I have no problem now that somebody's nice too. I'm gonna feel like I'm a nice as well. But I just let him know, like I can't wait to see your TV show. Like I just okay. reached, him, I just messaged him like. I can't wait to see your TV show. I know you're gonna be doing great things, man. Like you re- legit are like a classic, man. Like you truly are funny. You know, just that simple message. He's like, nah, man. Like I appreciate that. You know what I mean, and all that stuff. And then we would just, uh, like just been every time he just just post something funny. I just I just say something. Yep. But then I like yo. Can you come on my show? Like I just reached out to him. Like I reached out to normal people. Can you yeah. come on my show? And uh, he's let me know uh, whenever he got time. He got busy. And then um, he actually invited me on his show. And then that's uh, how, and that, that, that and, and that's how, that's how we made. It. And that was even bigger for me, a bigger platform, everything like that, because obviously that, like, that was huge. Like he's he's big on the West Coast, obviously, he's in like California, okay, the Hollywood okay. area, and stuff like that. And you know his big platform that he got, so so, so, so that was good for him to um, fight me on his show. You know, and we still working the, um, the 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 dates that he's available to, to, to come on my show, especially because of the, the time difference. So yeah, well, I now you say that. So he's from the West Coast. I kind of I can hear it now. That, now that you said that, I could kind of hear it. Is he like Oakland or something? What is, where are you from? Is he like the the Bay? Well, I mean, truthfully, he's uh, I I don't want to like give exact locations, but he's in the Hollywood area. Oh, not, okay. not, not, you know, yeah, I mean, he's, he lives in there, but he actually is from Pittsburgh. He actually is from oh, Pittsburgh. Oh, so, yeah, okay. he's actually from Pittsburgh. Because like, some, word, some words that he says, exactly it kind of sounds yeah. West Coast, but like mm-hmm. he do sound like he talk like yeah. us a little bit. Like, yeah, but... yeah, he's from Pittsburgh. Yep, yep. yep oh, so and, y'all, and, so y'all, y'all Pittsburgh fans yeah. together. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Crazy. Pause. But I mean, like, I mean to make it like weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, he um. He did a movie on, I mean, I know it's on Tubi, but everybody making movies on Tubi and stuff like that. And I mean, uh, he he just did his first movie, but, you know, uh, you know, I guess, you know, um, official film on uh, it's on Tubi. It's called We Outside. That was pretty okay. dope. I advise y'all to check, uh, check, check that out. But, yeah, that was a good look for me. Like, and like you said, I've just been staying busy, man. Like, I ain't playing around. And I know people's summer schedule has been, been crazy, but I have to be letting people know, like, however it fits in y'all's schedule, we can make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, early morning, late night, you know, it don't matter to me. Like, it's no problem to get up and chop it up to me okay that's what's up that's what's up and uh i guess we we're gonna start soft man before we get into all the sports whatever um yo man tv shows man um so uh what are you watching right now man because um i'm watching the shy i i didn't i didn't watch it this week because i got i gotta catch up because i gotta watch it i gotta hurry up do my recap and Mm -hmm. um you know i mean i know there's some other show because i'm like dang after that goes off like like Cause that's the that's the end of it, you know. And I'm thinking like, man, okay, what okay. other black shows do we have? You know what I mean? And ironically, this is not a the main character is not a black dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Power, power <laughs> forces back with Tommy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? A lot so, of black people in it, and it's in but, the shy. But yeah, it is in the shy. It is in the shy. Yeah, and there's a lot of black people uh, in it. Whatever. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I like the first season because 
and the thing is, I don't even like like I never like Tommy on regular power. Like I never because oh, no nah, be, because okay. he's not Talk a believable to like to me. His character, I don't believe it. Like, like a lot of it. Like, cause he just he got a lot of bravado. And I'm like, man, this white dude would have got smoked. Like, you know what I mean? In the hood. Like, you know what I mean? It's a real yeah, life shit. What? What? No. The being with goals gave him the validation. Obviously, the simple fact that he's trying to do, take over this stuff in and in, in Chinatown area, you know, Chicago. Yeah. Maybe you might think it's kind of unrealistic, but he yeah. actually was with somebody that was putting in that work heavy. Just like, you know, obviously uh Tommy was. So yeah. I think it was kind of more believable. And they, they're they not like, my thing with the Braden and the Tyree situation, they're not little kid guys. I know they're grown men. I'm, I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. They're, they're, both, they're both like, what, 22 years old on yeah. up. But their physical appearance look like little boys. Look like <laughs> 50 Cent will grab them up by the collar quick and or shake them down. Yeah, And like yeah, there's yeah, nothing yeah. you can do with it. Yeah, like yeah. you need to call an abundance amount of help. You know what I mean? For you to do something. The way I, I know Ty, they got Tyreek being nice with the gun, or I mean, it's not like Tyreek. I don't watch it. See, I don't even know if it, like. Yeah, so yeah. you're telling me like yeah. on the second power, the ghost, like they're they're yeah. making like Tyreek is nice. Tyreek is nice with the gun. Braden is coming onto his own. Be you know what I mean? Get, like he will shake you at first with the gun, but I, I, I don't want to give it away. But Braden is coming to his own with with, with with the gun game. But none of these guys can fight like how they're, they're portraying oh, yeah, Tommy, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, Tommy and Ghost. You know, so yeah, yeah. all that come all that comes into it, well, that that, that plays you know, that yeah. plays a part into today's culture, though, because we always think that these young boys can't fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, true. So, yeah, so, yeah, they always want to get the gun. Stand quick, true. You know? so, yeah, yeah. So that, that is that believable. Is yeah, yeah. That, that that is stand true too. Actually, what's going on? But I, that's not my preference because I'm thinking like, yo, just like, oh, uh, oh my gosh, man, I, I, I'm I'm forgetting the character's name because I'm thinking about Diamond and Gerard for from CBI. But I'm on force right now, so I'm okay. thinking of um Monet's son. Mo, 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 Monet's son, the 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 uh, Drew, Drew. Uh, not, it's not Drew. Oh my gosh! But the other one that's not Drew. Okay. When he was fight, when he, he had a fight scene with Tyree, it was just a fight scene in the office to let him know that I'm gonna rough you up. He could have finished him. Oh yeah. Um, Method Man character uh, McClane came and stopped him because he took the la um the the computer screen and was about to smash it over Tyree's head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause he let Tyreek know that I'm smashing Epi because you wasn't doing your doing your thing. Yeah, Tyreek yeah. took a swing on him, and it was just like the the little brother, the, the big brother to the little brother. I'm uh, I'm gonna grip him up. I'm gonna slap him up real quick. I ain't gonna finish him off too bad, but then the, um he he, he kind of had a split second. He's about to pick the lap um the computer screen up, smash it over his head, and McLean uh, came and stopped him. But just little stuff like that, like he could have been to shake Tyreek down and take anything that oh, he okay. wanted from him and finish it. Like Tyreek could easily get got just as as Braden. But yeah. they got them being nice with the guns now. Okay. So with Tommy, though, like, um, I, I the reason I liked it because I felt like p the first power, I felt like it got too much to be. It really became a love story. You know what I mean? And I was like, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> Ghost and Angie. Like, like you know what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, weird. yeah. But, like, and I was like, yo, Power Force is getting back to the essence. It's straight action. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. like, like, this yeah. dude just shooting people. And I'm like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but but I like it, you know what I'm saying? Coming coming to a new city, causing havoc. Yeah, and just, just causing havoc, whatever. And I, I, to be honest, I don't even remember how the last season ended. Like, I, I remember, like, I, somebody, like a woman got killed. Like, I remember yeah, that he was, was, like, close um, to with the girl with the scar on her the face. Defense, yeah, the, the, the girl with the scar on her face. Um, Lily or Lily or whatever. Yeah, so uh, she yeah, died. Yeah, she's dead? She smoked? Yeah, yeah, she did. yeah, yeah, because yeah, the sister, the Tommy Flanagan, I mean, the, the Tommy Flanagan daughter, uh, yeah. Nadia, whatever. Uh, she 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 done yeah she was protecting her dad as she oh, should yes, yes, but but, yes. but but you know because she she was on the cut chilling she saw her about to take 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 her dad out and she she got her boom but Tommy don't Tommy got a feeling you know Tommy catching on because Tommy in the new season talked to the brother he know the brother didn't do it okay okay and, and the brother covering it up for you know because he pulled up on the brother actually the brother be keeping it real with Tommy even though he hate Tommy oh because he because um, he, he took his bitch because he took his yeah 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 exactly, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He can't beat Tommy. He so so he, he he know he can't do nothing with Tommy. Uh, so he kept it real with Tommy, but without saying who did it, like he 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 ain't do it. Um, he ain't say uh which Flanagan did it or which yeah, uh, yeah. member. Um, yeah, I remember. Cool. I remember that, and then I remember they had that they had that new drug where they put it on their lips, and then like, yeah, yeah, that like, black. Whoa, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, and so um, they, they he figured out how to like they then they figure out how to make it, and then now like he about to shut this. You know what I mean, he about to shut, yeah, shut, shut, shut down, down. With this shit. Well, it, well, well, well. He didn't want to make it because he don't want to want to move it. And, and he um put the ingredients out there and, and, and posted like on on the internet. 
So now it's not. We're, they're, they're, he's supposed to oh, it's not as exclusive. Like it's just, yeah, because anybody can make it now. Oh, yeah. wow. That's dope. That's dope. So, yeah. So, I gotta, so that's not. So, but yeah, it's, it's, it's good so far? It's good so far? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Like I said, it's um, it's definitely my favorite. I picked it. Like, really? Not, not out of the. Out of the, the Tyreek show, Ghost and yeah, so the four the, series. The, that's it, your favorite one. It, yeah, why? And the Canaan, why? Because it's more realistic. Um, okay, like I was like I was I was explaining to you uh, earlier. Is even though you 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 don't think Tommy character is it's kind of believable. The simple fact that you know how it is when you get brought up with somebody in that same teachers and in that same mindset that oh, do yeah. rub off on you. You know what I mean? And we know all the work that 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 uh Ghost was putting in. And it had no choice but to rub up on Tommy. Yeah, and yeah. obviously Tommy got some extra proof because he's trying to do this thing on his own and be be the, be the head honcho. Even though he got a got a partner di di diamond, but he's trying to do do the ghost thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think this is is way more believable. And that and like I'm not saying the storylines is not great in both. I mean, well, all the series and all the Paris series, but I just believe that uh, it's more realistic. And then the Kane thing, like I don't know, man. I I, I I don't know. Like I, I just really not that that big a fan of it. I'm not really taking shots at it, but not because like it's not weak. But force is that much better. Uh, the ghost is that much better. Don't you don't that. think? No, that's the I best one. Canaan is the you best like one. Canaan? Canaan is the best one because because we need to or we need to figure out like how the fuck all this shit kind of took 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 place, whatever. And like Canaan is, I didn't, I didn't even like his character. Yeah, in, I never in, liked in, his character. In the, in the original, like but yeah. but he it's it's good though because um and then it's the nostalgia like and a lot of this stuff. Is the, way and, is. the thing is, uh, uh, Kanan is the most realistic because it's actually based on real people. Like 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 I had I had yeah. Kaisha Jennings like um this is back mm -hmm. episode like 23, 22 or something yeah. like that, and like she showed me like like yeah like some of the people are, are based on like real people that that grew up with like her dad like her dad was like in the streets in new yeah. york and queens at that time whatever and um so not like i like the nostalgia i like the actors you know what i'm saying um you know what i mean no like, i don't like the actors all like that i ain't what? gonna hold you i don't like the actors all like that like, yo I, the mom is killing it bro like she's she's one of the best actresses that that power Act, here's the thing power, power don't have good actors that's what you got you you fucking yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pac, power yeah. is the acting and um, power is not that great whatever but she's good bro like she's believable like she she she's a strong woman whatever she come from she come from doing plays and shit like that like so she's a she's a oh, okay, skilled okay, okay. cultured actress you know what i mean i do like that's always joseph occurs what you mean no he's not bro Oh, he's not. No, he, he's not. I don't know about the. I don't know about the theaters, but you know he's been in the in some some movies now. What? Like, like over what? Time. Uh, the the, the fair. He or the, uh, the Ozarks. That that wasn't a movie. That you know was, what I'm saying? Yeah, but he wasn't good in that. Like yeah, he, like he ain't do <laughs> nothing. Like he ain't do nothing significant. I like I like I like Tommy Power. I don't want to I don't want to come at yeah, it too yeah. much. But I'm like nah. It's yeah, but it, the acting is better in in Canaan. Like and I think nah, the story nah, is better. It's it's deeper. It's like it's it's rooted in something. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the other yeah, stuff is yeah, kind of made it. up. It's like made up from thin air. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But, and, and and maybe like because I I've already got the attachment to to Tommy from the ghost. But, Maybe, but um, the Canaan. I I just never liked the Canaan character at all. So it okay. did turn me off. But it, it did it does explain a lot why the, this character, you know, that 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 character came in, in in, in the Ghost. I mean, when the Power series yeah. became the way he was because like like his mom brought that on him and and like want him to to kind of be yeah, like that the way you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah, and like and like the cousin too, jukebox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like yeah, she jukebox, started yeah. off, and, and, and that's how she came a crooked cop. That's yeah. that. That's crazy. That's what now I'm you want to be a cop. And you want to be crooked. Like, 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 then it's just, it's just crazy. But you understand the way that she's brought up, and then the, yeah. the uh, the, her, her dad uh, beating on her. That's that's crazy. That uh, yeah. they got hit. That, that 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 actor. Oh my gosh, I forget. Yeah, his I know, name. I know, that, that, I know his name. Yeah, London, yeah. London. Yo, yeah, London, yeah, London. Yeah, London. I think London Brown or something like. Yeah, that. London but Brown. He, London Brown. London Brown. Yeah. Yo, he. He's like funny, and it's crazy to see him take that. That's soul. what I'm saying. He's a good act. Leonard Brown can act, and, bro. Like he's yeah, a good yeah, actor. Because he's funny, like and, and and I'm and I'm be waiting for the funny, but he's dead ass serious. Yeah, because like, yeah, he was on Ballers. He was on Ballers. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like you know, I, I like the Rock. You know, I mean all that stuff. So yeah. I know him to be funny and just yeah. like a uh, a little. 
I don't want to say bum, but just a little ha- hanging on and not doing too much. You know how the, this baller character yep, is. It's yep, so funny. Yep, yep. And then to see him just, well, you know, he's still a fuck up and and, and this, but he Kinda, know like. Kind of, but, oh, like, but, yeah, but, but he got he, it more no, together. No, yeah, exactly. He he know he been doing it so long his whole life. He got to yeah. get it together at this point. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. I like those aspects of it. Yeah, so all right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to check it out and I'm gonna have to catch up and then we're gonna have to have yeah, man, because you playing around, man. I know you, I am yeah, playing, I'm playing, playing, around. playing around. I am, I am. So <laughs> all right. Um, real quick, I had a video I wanted to share with you. Um, and it's your boy, man. It's your it's your godfather, man. Um okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, you see him on the screen. Yeah, yeah there he is. Look at him. All right. So, you know, lately I've been seeing like a lot of clips with him where he's not talking about sports necessarily, he's talking about like relationships and you know I mean? how do you feel about that when like a guy like Stephen a is like talking about different stuff does that bother you because some people like i hear the fans like they be like they be have they be feeling some type of way about it they be like oh shut up just talk about sports whatever you know what i mean how do you feel nah like- i mean i know you're not necessarily a sports guy per se but i mean yeah. he actually taking notes from the 20 plus podcast ah, he, he, just, he, he, he says i got my first take you know like i love the fresh bar sports show and then this is the Stephen A. Smith podcast. He yeah. wanted to be talk about relationships himself, and, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and he goes sprinkling the, the major sports topics when, when they arise. But he 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 wants to do this, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, breakfast of breakfast club style podcast. Okay, but, you know, you're talking about everything and everything. stuff that people that wasn't expecting him to be talking about. Okay, he, like you know, the sports you can go to first take for that. I'm going to sprinkle in the sports major topics as they come in because this is about, you know, major topics going on, sports, world, culture, everything like that. And whatever the major topics that's pertaining to politics, relationships, entertainment, because he's definitely getting real messy and all the entertainment business world. He's definitely talking about all, all the things celebrities are going on. Trust yeah. me, this is my guy Stephen A. Smith. I don't miss not a single episode he do in anything. Okay. He's like, oh, he's my favorite on, on, on my DVR. So anything that he does, it gets automatically recorded. Okay. Everything that he's doing, Dang. I'm subscribed to. I'm locked in. Like this is my, this is the the, the pedestal in the game. What I'm trying to get. I to. know. I see. This is who I you want to strive and strive, strive, strive after. Obviously, there's people or you know uh, uh, under his level, on his level. But when we talk about the LeBron James effect, who's been the greatest for the longest, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, you got to give it to Stephen A. All but, right. Uh, so nah, I, I like this. So did did you know what this is? Like this this does nah, this nah, look familiar to you or no? No, nah, I, I I can't see the, the exact uh, subtitles. Um, I mean, I, I know I watched this episode, but yeah, you can play okay. it. Okay, all right, let's play it. Let's play it. Let's see what he's talking about here. Oh, a brother. He's one of my boys. He knows who he is. I ain't going to say his name. He was married. They never had any kids. He wasn't feeling the relationship anymore. Neither was she. The divorce wasn't <laughs> even contested. And the courts ordered him to pay $12,000 per month. That ain't child support. That's adult support. That's wife support. $12,000 a month? He wasn't even making a million a year. $12,000 a month? Just because y'all ain't together no more? She had a job. Why you had to pay $12,000 a month? I know one of my female friends, she was actually making more money than her man. He cheated. He cheated. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. He cheated. And she still was ordered to pay this brother $15,000 a month. In this country, we talk about marriage. But every time you turn around, it's a financial transaction. And it's getting to the point where prenups ain't safe because you got people contesting prenups. In general, like, um, when it comes to like topics like that, whatever, like, do you, do do you think that that influences like just regular people like you and I, like, does that influence our decisions when it comes to like, you know, thinking about marriage and things like that? Like, because I, you know, Women get mad though when we do bring stuff up like this, whatever, and maybe it is like detrimental in a sense, like where we like, yo, we're thinking about this, and it's like, but I ain't got, I ain't got that money anyway, like to give nobody, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So like, yeah, should exactly. I, even, should I even be worried about that, whatever? But like, do you think like that has an impact on, um, you know what I mean, society? Like when when people talk so negatively about like situations like that. Nah, necessarily. Me, I personally don't think so because, like, you know, people like like you and I, like, I, I think we kind of think of this stuff, you know, uh, on our own. Like, it's not, it's just not being stupid about the situation. You know, it's it's doing your analysis and um and 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 break it down to the situation. It's just like, wait a minute, I don't, uh, okay, I'm I'm just trying to break this thing down into levels. Yeah. That's what I'm just trying to break this thing thing down. The kids, 
while I got it, I'm just throwing I'm just throwing numbers out there. I'm just throwing numbers out there just, you know, for a, a random person. And obviously it's not nobody famous, but I'm just saying, why do I gotta pay five hundred dollars a month for child support every month when I know I'm not spending five hundred dollars on my child if he's living in my home every single month. <laughs> yeah. It's going it's, it's going to vary. It's going it's, yeah. it's going to vary. Yeah. Some months it, it, it might be an eight hundred. Some months it might be a two fifty. So I'm just saying the stuff it fluctuates depending on what is all going on for the month and what all you decide to do for the month or whatever uh, arises. So that the level of consistency, I don't agree with it because, like, even if you do have have the money, no, you 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 shouldn't have to be spending. Five hundred or whatever that that amount is yeah. on your kids every single month because it's like you the, 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 like there's no need for it. I, I personally think it's unhealthy, regardless of the amount of the money that you got. Um, now obviously when he's breaking down the dog support yeah, because it's, it will, support, the but yeah. the but the, the, the spousal support because the the, the, the abundance of, of money. He was referring to uh, like a, I forget the exact couple, but a couple that was going through a divorce. Um, I probably just forget because you know. Mad people went through divorce this, yeah, uh, yeah. this summer. Um, it was a particular cu- couple at this time going through a divorce in California. We t- specifically talk about the California state laws about okay. how you know because it's it's, it's different because the, the the lifestyle. So they that that spousal support is obviously a significantly like higher than it will be in, in Pennsylvania. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's a lifestyle that you got to keep up keep up with. And but like but like I, if we break up like divorce, which is the ultimate breakup, yeah. why do I have to maintain your life? Like uh, that's weird it's, to it, me. It, I I know they saying the child's supposed to have the same same lifestyle when they when they go to the other parents' house, but yeah, that I mean that like that, no, that that's not that, that's not realistic, man. Like because if they the one person who was lacking, they only would have any greatness because of they was with the uh, uh, other person who was you know the breadwinner. Yeah, and yep. if it, whatever things don't work out, the, the child is going to have to understand like. Who was actually provided, and it is a difference, and it <laughs> yeah. is a difference. Not it ain't, it ain't to be the rule, but like the the other parent don't live here no more, so they, they things is different at this house. Things is gonna be different at the house because it's we're not in in unison no more. And you know, obviously, the old adage is you're, you're better together. You can do more together. Yeah, you're, obviously. So it, it's gonna be less it's separation. Yep, yep. Just by default. Just you know by default. I mean? like, yeah, by default. Yeah. By default. Yeah, so, so I, that's the that's the mindset that I come from. You know, we just breaking the situation down. I mean, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah. I I think it can it can have a detriment to some people, like their thoughts about it, whatever. But you know, I I think it's just this, like 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 you were saying, like I I think it's just maybe maybe what it is is that we're thinking like, oh, we're gonna be at that level someday. So like when I do get at that level, yeah, you know I mean, I want to protect what I can protect. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I don't I don't want to have to like like to support another adult. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and, and, and y'all both are working, two working, grown people, whatever. Like, it does sound kind of crazy. Like, you know, $15,000 a month, like that, you know what I mean? That's over a hundred. You know what I mean? That's, that's 150, that's more than 150 racks a year. Like, you know what I mean? And that's yeah. just, and that's just because you, you're the ex of somebody that you don't want to be with and that you cheated on. You know what I mean? Like that was yeah, crazy. Exactly. He said exactly. the woman, the woman had to pay yeah. that much. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but, but. Because Stephen A. Smith is not married, right? No, 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 no. So do you no, think like do you think these stories are more for him? You know what I mean? And like it's 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 a yeah. reminder for him, like, like, nah, like like he's yeah, mostly no. talking about his own lifestyle, like like that's why I ain't yeah. married to these bitches. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, that's part partial, but like also he he like you said, he's he's raised by females, you know what I mean? He got he, he got three sisters and, and and obviously got friends, and you know, we just taking it everybody's uh, stories and, and their experience into consideration. And, okay, I'm not the only one that's going through that. Oh, okay, this this might be the norm. This might be really what it is. When yeah. all these uh, situations is, is kind of in line, and uh, obviously, who's ever the breadwinner is going to have to pay, you know, spousal support. In, yeah. in our reality, what it, what it comes down to, because whatever money the amount that they do get, in, it don't need to be that across the board. Yeah, like for you to be living a normal life, you can go get a nice house uh, in, in a nice house of a development and, and paid off and still be good. You know, no, you're not going to be getting a, a private planes or taking the boat trips and doing all the exorbitant things. But I'm pretty sure y'all can y'all can fly, fly commercially to go to a vacation somewhere. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So like, like, no, it ain't going to be exclusive lifestyle, but it's still going to be luxury. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. That's good. So, and then I got I got another little video. Um, again about okay. relationships, real quick. Let's just like check this out. Let's see what we. Hold on. 
Yeah, we, we there definitely a beautiful morning out here. Yeah. Nice. The sound shared. So this one is about um, think about just how like uh, men and women and how they move and talking about like masculine, feminine energy and stuff like that. So let's let's just check it out. It's a cool little cartoon, but I think it's obviously derived from maybe a podcast or something. So let's check it out. I know me six figures and they're all black men. And what do they expect black women to be like? How like what is their expectation of a black woman i'm gonna say this very very like matter of fact and i hope it's not offensive oh no not at all black men of that caliber expect black women to be women femininity a lot of y'all are niggas a lot of y'all are men oh no 100 percent. but that's because it's not enough masculine energy around how can we be feminine well, we can't make that excuse what excuse see we ain't talking about joe we're not talking about the seed we're talking about the one percent but know? what i'm saying is you we said not. you said we're masculine because there's not enough Masculine, uh, masculine energy, energy around. around. What if men started saying we're feminine because there's not enough feminine energy around? Because, it, I mean, that's... that's. But we can't say that, is my point. I guess it's because when women are raised, we're raised to be strong. So we don't necessarily know what even masculine really means. You feel me? To even say like, oh, you masculine. Because if I'm raised without my father and all I know is my mom, so you're telling me really my mom is masculine? You feel me? So I really don't have a broad, like a real sense of, oh, that's a nigga. You act like a nigga. But you, you proved act- my point. You said, because before you said that um, there are not enough men to go around. And then you said men need to do this, 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 and this. And now you're saying that I don't know what masculine is. No, no, no. For a woman. Yeah. For a man. Yeah. But it's the same energy. Is it? A man being masculine, a woman being masculine, masculine is masculine. Every- I, always, I love yeah. when, like, it's funny, man, when you would ask women certain questions and, like, yeah. when you flip it, it don't make sense. And it's like, well, yeah, that's the point. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, exactly, exactly. A man can't be like, yo, there ain't enough feminine energy out here. So, yeah, I mean, we gonna be feminine because that looks crazy, and it's like, yeah, and like she ain't she not realizing, or or when she was just like, well, yeah, for masculine for men, I'm like, he's like, no, like masculine is masculine, like all those yeah. things like, trying to fight to accomplish and trying to take charge, whatever. That's what we talking about, like like y'all don't let men lead, uh, and y'all don't yeah, let yeah, balance. Let's have, have proper balance. The, the proper balance. Yo, y'all, y'all want to have you know, what I mean the the uh, the masculinity and the and and, and, and like. Bare minimum, if that, of the femininity, like yeah. as in like turning the sexy on. Being, yeah. And I hate, I, and I, and I, and I don't necessarily mean in, in, in a, a a physical sense, like the catering, the, so, the, the catering softness, to your man. the softness, yeah, the softness, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I mean, the tender, love, and care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, know, you, you know what I mean? All, all, all those, you know what I mean? Those uh, intimate uh, moments and and just you know. Uh, Caring for each other, basically, like a prime example with the song that I'm thinking, uh, thinking about, uh, Destiny's Child. They're um, they're uh, Survivor. catered to you. I'll cater to you. Now, okay. to you. I gotta say, you're the problem. You, you crazy? See, see, that's the problem. That's the problem. See, that's, that's the problem with that mindset. That's the problem with that mindset. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Survivor, yeah, I'm survivor. What? Nah, just get, cater to me, man. You know what I mean? Like, listen to the words. Like, you know what I mean? Everything breaks it down. But like, I, I mean, I, I don't. I'm not saying. Like um, like serve server or be behind a fool. Somebody yeah, being yeah, foolish, yeah. but but somebody that's treating you the right way, doing the right things. You know what I mean? So you know, pour into that. Yep. You know what I mean? Like uh, water that soil. You know what I mean? Water yep. that. You know what I mean? For, for fertile, like it, fertilize that. You know what I mean? And you gotta treat that with, with care, so the the the, the partner, the, the man, basically want to continue to do more of that, more of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they gonna yep. feel like, you, okay. She appreciate what I'm doing, not 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 just what she's saying. She she's she showing me uh things that 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 she appreciate what I'm doing. So we're gonna keep this thing going, you know. Obviously, God's so like, yo, know, she she don't really appreciate what I'm doing because of the, the 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 lack of things that she's doing, not on the same level, but just yeah. with the tensions, just yeah. with the tensions. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, it's crazy too because um I hate that like it's good that you know we having these conversations as black people and stuff yeah. like that, but like it's just interesting and I I don't think that people outside of the culture realize like you know like the stuff that we got to deal with because 
what she said was when you know black women they're they're raised to be strong like i don't know yeah that's true like i don't know any black woman that wasn't like personally raised that that wasn't inst- like they didn't have that certain certain things instilled them like to be strong and independent whatever and it's because yeah. As black people, like we like a lot of our existence when we're growing up is about survival. You know what I mean? It ain't yeah, about yeah, it yeah. ain't about like like when you living in abundance, you know what I mean, and you have everything, you know what I mean? Where like, you know, uh like if you had the bracket where with Stephen A. Smith talking about where you know people can pay like fifteen thousand dollars a month yeah. to support us, but like when you in abundance yeah, exactly. like that. Yeah, like like all that you can you can cater to a man, yeah. You know I mean, like you can learn that, like your mom can teach you that type of stuff because like you're already y'all up like you ain't got to worry right. about you know what i mean making ends meet or or like if a man leaves yeah. you how you gonna make money and then, exactly like exactly. you know what i mean so you're not sweating over the the, the, the finances yeah because you, you know sweat- regardless you good you good you good yeah like yeah. and so it is it is tough um but like i think and yeah like she almost was offended she was like damn which like i raised by my mom so you saying my mom masculine unfortunately yeah like your mom like because she had to be like not that she wants yeah, to be masculine yeah, yeah. but she she had to be masculine whatever because she had to survive in the world but it's just and it, go, it, yeah, it goes back to the to, to the shows when we talk about you know what why canaan was the way that he was in the show why yeah. people don't like him yeah but we gotta go back and look at the prequel look at the upbringing yeah you know what yep. i'm saying yeah look at that look at that tie back that's that's, that's yeah come on man you know already not like i'm locked in that's what we do man that's, that's what i'm saying we can we got these conversations any time of the day because like what I do, like people know me, I got no problem chopping it up. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, let's uh let's get into the sports now, man. Let's switch it up. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, okay. so football Sunday, football oh, Sunday, man. baby. Yeah, you know I mean, Steelers. Okay, okay. All right. So let's you talk know about what it is. All right. So before we get into our team, yeah, I know, and I know. like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's talk about some headlines. All right. So mm-hmm. so right now, man. Um, right this year, like this season coming into this season, this was the year of the big quarterback contract. Yeah. I mean, we have five different quarterbacks. Oh, uh, let's talk deals. about it. Five different you know, quarterbacks get big deals. We got, we had Jalen hurts, Lamar Jackson, uh, Herbert got one. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, yeah, I mean, Burrow just got, Burrow is the, yeah, Burrow is the, Burrow. Yeah, the, Burrow. the yeah. most, he's the most recent one, whatever. I, 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 I thought it was yeah. five, but maybe it's just four or whatever. So, yeah. um, all right. So Burrow, Burrow is, is, is caking it, man. He, he got his, he's the highest paid quarterback right now based on per, per, per year, per, no, yeah, per year. On a per year basis, he's making the most money. I mean, 50. Yeah, that's cap. I don't care about that. That We're going to get to it. I can't, that's cap. What's oh, cap? cap, cap. All that, it, it, all that is BS numbers just to make somebody feel good knowing damn well, 99% of the time, they ain't going to see that full uh, exact amount. Quarterbacks always it. see that money. No. Quarterbacks no. always see that money. No. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. What quarterback What quarterback? What quarterback has not seen no, that, their money? I'm, t- I'm, I'm telling you what we're going to do. We're going to go. But we're going to go. Oh, we got a year, year left on that contract. Now we're going to reno- re- renegotiate it. And it's going to be another a contract extension. You know what I'm saying? Move up, move some money around, give you some more guaranteed money, put some other money back. Yeah, but they, then they, but they still getting it. They still getting that money though. They still getting it then. Like I mean, because yeah, and Rogers, like he's had some big lucrative contracts, whatever, and they restructured to push yeah, yeah, money but, down. But but then, but then like they, at some point the team takes a hit. They, like yeah, yeah, they got they got about to bite the bullet. That's why they they going to eventually cut you or move you up out of there. But they either going to release you quarterbacks, or, 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 and, and if you're performing, if you're performing, you rarely get cut. Yeah, I mean, Aaron Rodgers at the end of his career, though. On your team, man, you was real crazy. So you gonna say he wasn't performing on your team? No, he last year he, did, he didn't perform. Last year he did not perform. Last year that's why he, that's why he's not that's why he's not a Packer. No, no. He, that's why so, yo, he's not but, a Packer. Oh, oh, because y'all want to take the one, one? I guess okay, technically down down year. I mean. I mean, well, yeah, down year compared to the thirteen. Yeah, I had three years in a row, thir- thirteen wins, right? Yeah, yeah but you gotta years. realize though, yeah, like he, but he wasn't, he wasn't, he already kind of, he already kind of wants to be out, or whatever, you know what I mean? And we exactly. had, to fi- we had, we already had to figure out how to, how to get from under that, you know what I mean? And, and y'all owed him like hundred plus million, ex- yeah, at the no, time. He, no, yeah, I would say, um, yeah, because though he restructured his contract with them, y'all, I think y'all owed him like one hundred thirty million before he restructured it with the Jets. Remember? 
No, it wasn't. It wasn't that high. It wasn't. That, it wasn't 130. That was. That's, it, was that, it was over 100. Like we we were on the hook. 20. We were on the hook for like almost like 60. You know what I mean? Like we were on the hook okay. for 60 of that, whatever. But like we weren't. Yeah. yeah it wasn't. It wasn't 130. Nah, because we would have. We would have. We would have just kept them. We would have just like that's too much. It was that's over 100 because uh, he's only getting 75 from 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 the Jets now. Yeah. Yeah. So fully guaranteed. Yeah. So, but, right. but my whole thing is that the, the quarterback, they usually going to get that thing to restructure, or if they, if they, oh, you had one bad year, now it's time to move you. Yeah, but, but that, Aaron Rodgers, you can't really count him because he's gotten his money like several times. Like th this man has had like, he's uh, unprecedented he's had like four yeah. different big contracts so if i'm not talking about a guy that's already been paid you know i mean it, it his okay. numbers don't really matter we're talking about these young these younger guys that are the prime of their careers whatever and and their teams are labeling them as franchise quarterbacks and rogers been a franchise quarterback for over a decade you know what i'm saying so yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's not a good example to use we're talking about okay. because because but Regardless, after Joe Burrow's done, he's gonna be 31 years old. He's gonna get another big contract. Yeah, you know I mean, and, and ain't gonna, it ain't, ain't nothing that you could tell me that. Nah, he's not gonna regress in five years. Like he's only gonna yeah. get better. You know what I'm saying? And Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, man, yeah, he's gonna, Jalen Hurts is not gonna get worse. And like, the only thing that can happen to Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, those kind of guys, injuries, are, are yeah, injuries, injuries, injuries. Yeah, those guys ain't gonna get necessarily weaker. You know what I mean? So they're gonna get second and third paydays, whatever. Like this is their first big payday. So that's that's what we're talking about. Like this kind of contract. So so with Burrow, so he is making the most money per year. You know what I mean? At fifty five, like that's his that's his number. You know what I mean, and obviously it goes. It's more than yo that. yo. I'm telling I'm yo. I'm telling you, we gonna come back five years from now, and we gotta have this conversation. Cause I want to know if he got that two seventy or or if he or if he got restructured. That's all. That's all I want to know. I don't think because so. You know man. But the thing is, if, if I get restructured and I stay with the team, and then they 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 giving me you know four hundred the next time, I still got my money. What you mean? I got more money. If anything, you know what I mean. Yeah, but that's if they like you say they got to stay with that team, play out the whole. They got to stay with the team, play out the whole. Um, you know, the their whole career basically yeah. to, to see all that to see all that money. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so so I guess all right. There's four quarterbacks. Yeah, there's only four quarterbacks that got big deals. This no, year, so. but but um, what, what I was trying to say is that Jason Watson he got the most money. Fully geared. No matter when he goes to sleep at night. No matter he's I'm never, talking about he on a per year basis. I, I get what you're saying because his yeah, contract was fully well, guaranteed. But 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 but, but their numbers but, have passed that though. He was at two thirty five, oh, whatever. He's at, he, he's at two, no, there was fully geared Jalen Hurts was full, I'm talking about fully guaranteed, which I know, they know you go, it's not it's not um Jalen Hurts, I think it's like one eighty nine or something like that. Um no no Joe Jalen Burrow, Hurts is five year two fifty five. No, we, I'm talking about fully oh, talking about guaranteed. guaranteed. Yes, no I know, matter. I know, but they're still going to but they're going to get that money, bro. Like they're going to get that. The quarterbacks but you, the but only, you the only players that don't get that money are are running backs. Like you know what I mean, receivers don't get that. Uh linemen that get hurt, you know what I'm saying? Quarterbacks get their bread, bro. Like they get their bread. But but, Jenner, but um Deshaun Watson is going to end up getting more money to them. Obviously, not just the simple fact that he got more guaranteed money for for them. His contract already started for them. He's going to get back to the table before them. And he's going to get another max contract. No, you know what I mean? Well, well contract, that's if he performs. Going, he has to yeah, perform. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as everything stays good, you know what I mean? The Browns got no choice but to pay him because you're not going to get another Deshaun Watson. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the Browns, the Browns don't get no He business. has they don't to have no love for the Browns. Bro, he hasn't even proven anything yet to, to even be worthy of that contract. So, like, they're actually so, – so, right now, if, if you look at that, his contract on face value right now, it's a, it's a horrible contract for them. They're not going to – they're not – in the next four or five years, whenever his shit is up, if you if you took right now's report card, he's not getting paid again, bro. What are you talking about? I mean, about? he's I not. Mean, no, he's not. I'm like, saying, but you don't, you you, you don't. And, agree. and they can't, they can't. And based on his report card right now, they can't get another Deshaun Watson because Deshaun Watson ain't do shit last year. He ain't do nothing last year. Okay, but all right, you know he, he did been nothing. Gone for two years. He did he made, nothing. I mean, I, I I'm I'm just saying he been gone for two years, so I know I know he was going to yeah. come back the same, but. But I'm saying for teams like Arizona Cardinals, the show, I mean um Browns, you know bum bum teams, even e hey, uh even the the, the the Panthers, they, they they'll be they they try to do a second go around with Cam Newton, you know what I'm saying like teams that know they're not gonna get no free agents coming there, they gonna take what they could get and, and and pay for the for the most well, you part. Don't, you don't need I free agents like when you got the draft. You don't need the free agents when you got like that's the that's the beauty okay, of the NFL. Gonna, you got gonna, the draft. They gonna draft Baker Mayfield, John, Johnny Menzel. 
um Ty, Ty, uh, Tyron Taylor. Who, who, yeah, but they could, but they, but they could draft, but they could draft a Joe Burrow. They could draft uh a Lamar Jackson. Yeah. You know I mean, like that's yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. with the draft. It's it's the crapshoot. It's not like the NBA. The NBA draft it matters them first couple picks, and then like maybe you get somebody. Yeah. Like no, you build your teams through the draft in the NFL. You don't build your team through the free agency. Like that's not a winning formula to build your team through free agency. You got to build it with young players, new players, and you got to yeah, be. Smart. Yeah. You gotta be yeah, smart with it, whatever. I mean, you I Steelers agree. fan, y'all build through the draft. Y'all, y'all not. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Packers fan. We build through the draft. We're not. We're I, not. And, and I'm a fan. I hate that because I be wanting us to go grab free agents. For well, sure, I, every yeah, yeah you, you, can, you, can, yeah, you can get a guy to plug one. in, but you can't no, get it. You can't. No, I'm saying they don't. I'm saying my team that so they they don't be doing that. I be uh, what? I'm like yo, go go, go get them yeah. guys. I well, my I team mean, too. Like they don't <laughs> always do it, whatever. But like no, but like for your for your franchise to be sustainable. You have to build through the draft. You know what I mean? And you gotta be you have, that's yeah. why you gotta have smart people that are running, you know what I mean, scouting yeah, departments yeah. and things like that. But anyway, we're getting on topic. Yeah, 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 no, so yeah, so right, of these four guys, I of these four guys, what I want you to do is I want you to rank, I guess, maybe I don't know, I don't want to say who's most worthy or whatever. Or who, I guess maybe who has like the best situation. I guess, yeah, who's the most worthy of their of their bread? Yeah, you know I'm saying, and and these four. I well, John to- Burrow said it definitely got more. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I believe in Joe Burrow. Joe oh, Burrow. I believe okay. in Joe Burrow. Okay. You know he don't got the MVP. I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying. Uh, I hope you understand my words clearly. No, I'm not saying he's Tom Brady, but I see Tom Brady he's as nice. like thing. I, I love I, Joe Burrow. And, and the, the prime example. I'm glad. I know people got the excuses lined up, and I can't wait to, to hear yours because uh, trust me, everybody get Pat Mahomes all the excuses in the row. Any bad Excuse game you. or the yeah, any bad game or anything. Anytime he lost. It's all, the line's fault. He didn't have this, that, and third. He played again. Everybody got like, dang. Patrick Mahomes. Yo, what, what excuses do Patrick Mahomes get? The offensive line. Every time they lose, or he don't have this and that weapon. Every time they lose, or the defense. So time them. out. Listen, when you, they lost, exactly. they lost. When they lost on, are you telling me when they lost on Thursday night? You yeah, you telling me yeah. that's Patrick Mahomes' fault? Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Patrick, that's not an excuse. excuse. You got to have receivers that do their job. They, they Listen, got one okay, job. Okay, I know they the got four drops. Catch the ball. They have four, they, they have four one, drops. One like drop that. led to a pick six. What are you talking yeah. about? Okay, listen. One drop led to a – Like, they, they only I, lost I, I, by I, I, one point. They only lost by one point. Oh, okay, but I'm just letting you know. That's not an excuse. That's a reason. Reasons and excuses are different. Like, you know what I mean? Like – you Don't do not do that. You know you watch Colorado football. We're going to talk about Colorado, too. Hey, but but you saw what he had on the shirt. No excuses, no explanations. You know what that no, means. Re, no, you know what, that is, no, 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 no excuses, no explanations. Yes, you know yes, what that and means. the person that don't deserve excuses is Kadarius Tony. He, there's no excuse for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, no excuse okay, for but, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but my thing is Joe Burrow, methodical in that that that, that pocket. A lot of we already know the limitations. He can't move like uh, Pat Mahomes. We we got it. He can move. No, he, 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 can move he can move though. He can move. He can move. He can move. No, he can move. But I'm, but I'm saying we are gonna lean on his his strengths. And, yeah. and perfect his craft. He's gonna kill you in that in that pocket. He's gonna stand in that pocket a, a couple seconds longer than Pat Mahomes. Yep. Why? Because Pat Mahomes, he he got to get up out there because he's leaning on what he know. He obviously his weapons is all there. I'm not gonna say Tyler Board, uh, Boyd, uh, T Higgins, and Jamar Chase is not there. Even though Jamar Chase missed like six, seven games last year, and um, they still was performing doing his thing. Uh, he's gonna move that thing around. Like yeah. you know, what I mean, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna find the open because that he knows. I'm not. I, I'm most likely not going to scramble and get these ten yards like Pat Mahomes. Most yeah. likely, I I, I got to perfect. You know, deciphering the defense, yeah. making quick decisions, and and, and and doing my thing that way. And I love that about his game. A la Tom Brady, because I see a la Tom Brady that's effective. Okay. And Joe Burrow, and it's still being effective. You know okay. what I mean with Joe Joe, Joe Burrow doing it. Okay. So I I, I believe. So he, you feel believe, like he deserved more money, but all right, let's go through the contracts though. Let's go through the contracts. Yeah, no. Okay, um, was, was it Justin Herbert after that? So, all right, so, after like, that? All right, so, yeah. so you got Joe Burrow, five years, yeah. 275. 275. You got Justin Herbert, five years, 262.5. You got Lamar. You got Lamar yeah. Jackson, five years for 260. And then you got Jalen Hurts, five years for 255. So yeah, we, yeah, had to, go, go, go. we had to rank from one to four most worthy of that bread. Oh, okay, okay. Joe Burrow. Okay. I'm gonna have to put Jalen Hurts in a second. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. The MVP don't put much weight on on me because Lamar Jackson tell you we we, we plan for championships. And I, I and he I mean he didn't take get the team to the Super Bowl. I know he had a great regular season to get the the, the MVP. 
But if you ask all those players that want MVPs or what, just, just they not even want MVPs. Like just in the league, any league. Like, I'm trying to win championship. At least get yeah. there. You know what I mean? I don't mm-hmm. really care for the MVP, and I ain't win no championship. So these guys at least got their their, their team to the dance and been in the, the MVP conversation as well. Um, then Lamar Jackson will be worthy of the number three. I definitely love him. I'm I'm so sick and disgusted at Steelers uh, for not drafting him, obviously, because every every team passed up on him. He was the last pick in the first round. Okay. I wish that we didn't – you know, I mean, we wasn't trying to push they, they not to paint at, 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 that, at, at that point in time. We understand that. Mm-hmm. But I like Lamar Jackson. I felt like this, he's the new wave of quarterbacks. You know what I mean? I, and, and, and I like it. He can, he can throw better than Michael Vick, like uh, accuracy-wise. Yeah. yeah. So, like, he's, he's more dynamic than Michael, Michael Vick. He can throw better than him. I, I I like that. Put him on a team with a good offensive line, good weapons, like a, like receivers. You know, we, I mean, like like Steelers, we always got the receivers. I think that would have gone go a long way for his career. You know what I mean? And I hope they don't have a good, you know what I mean, offensive line and and good uh skills positions because they they do that, man. They're gonna be some problems. Yeah, yeah. But then um obviously man. last Justin Herbert, I just think, I mean, he, let's let's keep it a Benji. He ain't proved nothing yet. Yeah, all these yeah. fluffed, all these fluffed up numbers in the regular season don't mean a thing. He only made it to the playoffs one time. Then you let, uh, um, oh my gosh, did you met Lawrence Teller? I mean, uh, Trevor Lawrence, come back, walk you down, twenty eight points down at halftime, come back in the second half, walk you down like that. <clears throat> we understand it's a defense, but the but, but the offense can't get no points to stop the bleeding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we just paid them. I mean, with the Chargers, they just paid them on. Um, uh, we got a young quarterback that's gonna be playing. The, for, for 15 more years. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I right, I would say I, I think I agree with you um all the way. I, I actually though, and it, and it's not even no shade on him because I think he's really good, but it's just you just gotta go off of like, you know, how how much do you play? You know what I'm saying? So like I, I think it'd be one one is Burrow. And it's because I, I think Bur- Burrow is nasty, bro. Like, and it's crazy because we do have a guy like Patrick Mahomes in the league. So it's it's tough to just like Elevate him over yeah, yeah, Mahomes yeah, yeah. because because Mahomes got the hardware, you know what I mean. He got the yeah, MVP, exactly. And he got the and he got the Super Bowls, but Burrow is but you see my breakdown, nice, bro. Yeah, my breakdown, he's fucking I, I, nice. Like he's yeah. clutch. Like like I've seen yeah, him. Yeah. I've seen him where his team is is struggling to score, and then in the fourth quarter he ring up four touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? And I'm yeah. like, you know what I mean? So and he he got that heart. They they could have won that Super Bowl if my man would have had if he would have had a, like a half a second longer. You know what I mean to throw that ball, yeah. they would have beat the yeah, Rams in the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jamar that, Chase yeah. wide open. You know what I mean? That's, and I I, I got to see my guy get back. Um, I'm I'm I think that he's you know I'm LSU guy, so I'm I'm all in on Joe Burrow. So I do think he's I mean yeah, I, I mean I'm a Suns fan. I'd rather not. I can you know, yeah, I know. his niceness, but I would like to see my my team in the Super Bowl. But I mean, uh, like I know he's nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely yeah. can knock that. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Jalen Hurts number two because you know everything that he did last year, and um, you know he's obviously getting better. Um, hey, yeah, and, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he, it's he, really he's on the right direction, and, and it's not even like because he's weaker. Cause he's I don't think nah. he's as good as Joe Burrow. I don't think he is as good as Joe Burrow, but he's he's nice. Like, and I think he is definitely better than like I think he's better than Lamar Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think I think, yeah. Um, I think he took tremendous strides in his game, but I'm but I'm a flip Herbert and and Jackson only because Jackson does have a he does have a bad injury like he he doesn't play he no. doesn't play for nah, that that that, that that last year like I'm not I'm I'm not no fool and you you know you heard people talk about it all black you know the conversation that stuff is real and I and I play with athletes and I and I and I know athletes that's that this is a real thing and people talk about like in order, you know I listen to all the athlete shows this is the thing. God's gonna hold out, hold in. Okay, you know what I mean. Okay. Like we got ah, my you think he's hold, oh yeah, he holding back because yeah, hurt. yeah. I, I got injuries that you really can't prove. It's a pain. Like you go to the X-ray machine, you 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 know what I mean? MRI, you can't really prove that I'm hurt or not. It's a pain tolerance thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, nah, I'm not I'm not playing until I get my money. Okay, got guys do that in, in in sports. You know what I mean? And especially when they feel. Obviously, the disrespect is at an all-time line. Now they got that. You know what I mean? They they they, they gotta stick their feet their feet into the ground and, and stand firm on on this. They can't do it in a way where it's gonna cost them money or cost them years of eligibility, like not getting credit towards a year, and they can still have another year. Yeah, on. yeah. Now nah, we're gonna be around, but we heard on the job. Yeah, but the thing is, you know we 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 never seen even if even if that we've never seen a quarterback like that 
like play at a high level for 15 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. like, so I, think I thought for, Cam Newton would be the one. Yeah, Cause yeah, yeah. Because he's cause, cause so solid and big and like yeah. you think like, I no, he can't get hurt. One. I you thought he mean? would be the one. But, but it's hard. It's hard to, yeah. it's hard to yeah. kind of predict that. I think it's a safe, like he, Herbert is he a safer bet. Yeah. Like, and that's why I think yeah. that's why he got the money. He hasn't proved anything yeah. yet. You know what I mean? But I, I think he's nah, a, nah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's a good young quarterback, and yeah, you you have to pay your your guys whatever. Like, um, it is crazy though that he's like a like his contract is more than like Hertz and 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 Lamar Jackson, and people might make it like a racial thing, whatever. Uh, I don't think it's that either. But yeah. it's just that I mean that just that team they have the finances, they got the cap. Yeah, you know I mean to do that, and yeah, you got you gotta you gotta pay your guy for the future. So yeah, but, exactly. Uh, so yeah, so I, I so I think we're we're kind of on the same page there for the most part. Other than that, all right, yeah. let's let's talk about our sleepers or paper tigers. Yeah, you know I mean, so like okay, you know, okay. a sleep. So I need you to name a team for this year that you think is a sleeper. Like so, um, I got I got like a good a one. Like 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 that. You don't like they don't the look they don't look like they're gonna, like, expectations. Best yeah, when expectations they are low, but then they're going to exceed yeah. those expectations. Now the paper tiger. Okay. It don't, cool, cool. it don't mean that they're it don't mean that they're gonna be weak, but it's like they're not they're still not gonna live up to their expectations because their expectations are so high, whatever. So who's your sleeper? Who's your paper tiger for this this season? My sleeper, the Detroit Lions. I don't know if it's too much of a sleep sleeper. Yeah, I was saying, Only, I don't know. I, no, no, but I, I feel you, I feel you though. Finish, I, I respect it. I respect it though. They didn't make the playoffs last year, but they did finish winning eight out of ten games last year. Okay. They let that they let that momentum carried all over in the offseason, as you could see from what took place on Thursday, because with, with the work they was putting in training camp and the belief that they mm-hmm. got a, 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 amongst each other and everything like that. Um, no, they're not gonna be making no run, but they they they, they could make a play. They could they, they is gonna make the playoffs. You okay. know what I'm saying? Wild card, seven C. You know what I mean? The, the last spot in the wild card, one and done. You know what I'm saying? You know, so <laughs> uh that'd be my sleeper. Now the paper tiger. I'm not even saying because first of all, the division that they in is, is crazy. I'm just saying it's going to be way better and respectable compared to last year's track that they put out there, and that's the Denver Broncos. It got no oh. choice because Sean Payton, Sean Payton, they're the paper seven, tiger or they're the they're the sleeper. They're, they're the paper, ti- paper, paper, paper tiger. They not they they gonna be respectable. They not they not gonna do nothing at all. Okay. but they are gonna be respectable compared to the tracks that they put out there last year. Okay, and Russell Wilson. Is going to play a whole lot of hell better because he you know his career is on the line. Because Sean Payton is from that old school Bill Parcells trade. I don't care how much I pay this quarterback, and oh, this is not my quarterback. Yeah, you know I mean, you going to sit next to here, next to me on the sideline if you're not performing well. He's from he, Sean Payton. You don't believe it. You're not paying attention to Sean Payton or hearing people talk about Sean Payton because everybody's letting it be known. If Russell Wilson don't play, uh, Sean Payton is going to be having a quick leash on him. He will. Yeah. He will put. The, he will put. Oh. Uh, well, uh, oh my gosh! I think it's a uh, Brock. Brock, a uh, steady, a uh, 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 steady. Um, uh, their their backup quarterback is steady. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't like to see Russell Wilson go out like that. I believe in him. Yeah. I do believe him, and like like um, Sean Payton was saying, I believe Russell Wilson got his brand with the, to the head, got so superstar celebrity status on us, and um, you need to keep it to focus on football and and and, and, and the ground on football and you know winning games. And mm-hmm. less on, on he said uh Russell Inc. said stop focusing uh less on uh Russell Inc. So okay. okay. I just think the um they're gonna be respectable because Sean Payton gave it about four or five games. Oh, we won a four, we look at two and three. Uh nah, uh, Russell Wilson come next sit next to me. Come sit next to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's funny because pay- so on, on NFL.com, yeah, you know I mean, they the, the writer um, and I think that I think these expectations are a little too high, and I'm and I'm and, but I'm surprised for I'm surprised for this team. But they they talking about the Packers as the sleeper, and I'm like, and the thing is, I I've been hearing a lot of like lately, and it's like I don't have high expectations for my team. Vikings, like, I like, like the Vikings, I like Jefferson and Cousins, what they're doing over there. The Lions, you just heard what I said about the Lions in your division. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't, but that's what I'm saying. But there's, there, I've seen a couple different analysts put like us in the playoffs, like, and I'm like, whoa, I don't, I, I, I don't know about that. Like, it'd be we do Yo, man. the roster though. Like, we actually have a good roster. Other than Aaron Rodgers, yeah, I mean, we just we don't have receivers and we don't have Aaron Rodgers, and like that's why. Are I'm, you sold on? 
Are you sold on Jordan Love? Do you are you a believer? Like like you are don't I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Exactly. The verdict you, you know out. Yeah, that's why I, said, I yeah, don't, you, I'm not picking the Packers. Real, I'm not picking yeah, the Packers. Yeah, you know, Packers, you know so. I kept the real with you last year about Kenny Pickett. I this young rookie quarterback, man. I, I ain't never seen him play no game in the NFL. What I'm what I'm supposed to do with that? I don't know what he's gonna do. And I still was, you know, I was breaking the games down every week as it was coming along. I wasn't so I'm like, nah, this ain't it. I need to see more because the quarterback is the reason why we're losing these games. Yeah, these games is close games, good games. You know what I mean? And and the quarterback is not getting us over the hump. So, you know, hopefully he make that uh necessary strive that we need this year. But I I I keep it real, man, because I'd be letting it be known like you if you're the reason why we're losing. I mean yeah, any position yeah. or, or, or any position group, whatever. All right. So I think my sleeper yeah, they they put this the Packers a sleeper and I was like, so that's I, was like I don't know about that. No, 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 no. Uh, my oh, sleeper okay. is probably I had to say it's from the it's from the worst division. Like so it's it's from the worst division in football right now. Um, but my sleeper has to probably be the Saints, probably the Saints, whatever. Yeah, I mean, like they got it, they got a new, you know, oh, I mean, new quarterback. Man. Um, obviously he's not he's not brand new to the to the league, whatever. Yeah, you know I mean, Kamara is suspended, but you got Jamal Williams now down there. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be yeah. rumbling, stumbling down there. You got Olave who who showed out as a rookie. You know, mm-hmm. you still got Michael Thomas, they got some tight ends, you know what I mean? That, is, he, that, is he gonna play? No, you say got Michael. Is he actually gonna play? I don't, oh, know. don't, know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but they do yeah, got yeah, some tight. They do got some tight end help down there, whatever. And their defense yeah, yeah, was yeah. good. Like their defense was actually really good last year. And they got they got a lot of the same cast, whatever. So um, I would say maybe the Saints are probably like a safe sleeper pick because that division is wide open. Yeah, that division. Yeah, that division, division is definitely. wide open. Yeah, you know yeah. Just because like, um, like I said, the division is the trash. Uh, it's anybody's division. Yeah, basically. yeah. Um, but my paper tiger is probably. They on NFL.com they picked the Bills as the paper tiger. I think the paper tiger is the Dallas. Yeah, yeah they got the they got the no, I'm saying they got the Bills on there. Come on, man. They yeah, a lot of people are a lot of people are they, down on the Bills. A lot of people are down I on the Bills because they don't I think they here's the thing, they're one dimensional. Yeah. They're one dimensional. Yeah. They all they can do is pass. They can't run the fucking football. Like and yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and you you didn't do anything to improve your running game. The running back. Yeah, yeah. James Cook is is in year two, but he's a little guy. You you picked up Damian they Harris. Needed, they, who, they needed to get Dalvin Cook. They that's they what I'm saying. To, like they Dalvin they Cook, Kareem Hunt is still out there. Like they they oh, the Jonathan Taylor move. They better give up. Yeah, the first I mean, like rounder. there's there's players out there, but Yo, they, they better not, give up the first rounder and go get Jonathan Teller. Yeah, I mean they need to do that. I don't know about that. I don't know. Yeah. Give, I don't know. But you go with you go with the Cowboys. I, I, I say the Cowboys are a paper tiger because there's I feel like the expectations of them are really high. And I think I think I think they're the third best team in their division because the Giants are be- I think the Giants are going to be good. Like, I think the Giants are going to be yeah. better than they were. La- they 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 exceeded last year and I think they're going to be better. But ever. But like a lot of people are putting the Cowboys like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even Cowboys fans, they're they looking at they look at CD Lamb like he's a top five receiver. And I'm like, CD yeah, Lamb ain't I'm- no top five receiver. Okay. He stop that. Talk. He be like, he, he lucky. He top twenty. Man, stop playing with me, man. Right, I, I, that's that's a little disrespectful, but like, yeah, yeah, because he he's not him. He you don't win because you got him. You know what I'm saying? You don't win because you got him. Yeah, you, you yeah. need somebody. You need somebody else to come along with him. Come on, man. Like this, yeah. this guy, stop that. Yeah, they were like, 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 they got three number one receivers. I was like, no, the fuck they do. They got they got CD Lamb. He's a number one, but Brandon Cooks is not a number one anymore. Like you know what I mean, nah, nah, and nah, nah. Michael Gallup hasn't been good in three years. So like, I don't know what y'all exactly, talking about. Exactly, Michael Gallup is exactly. done. Like he's whack. He's bro. done. He yeah, he's definitely done. Brandon Cooks is definitely a good solid number two, though. I definitely, but yeah, yeah, he's definitely a solid number two. Yeah, yeah, but I think I think they're the they're kind of like paper tight. They're gonna make to a me. they're gonna make a lot of noise like how they do with all the the the, the throughout the week they noise. Everybody gonna be talking about them on the shows, and they ain't gonna be winning nothing if they they lucky they made they made the playoffs one and done. If that, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, and then um, I guess before we go, um, couple just two more little things. Um, fantasy, so you don't play fantasy football. Nah, I don't like it, man. I, Why? I just started. I just just because I don't. I I don't like the commitment for football. The only simple fact like this: I don't like people. Listen, I don't like people trash talking in football about what their team going to do. I like the, the individual trash because the injuries happen so quickly. Tra- um, uh, tra- tra- Travis Kelsey on a walk through, he running around, non contact. Hyperstand in his knee. I mean, it happens. All oh, non-contact injuries easily. We ain't even gonna talk about the contact injuries. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, okay, boom, I get a nice little squad. Boom, the injuries is gonna come. You know what I mean? I know you gotta have the perfect balance to have good backups and find yeah. those good sleepers and all that stuff. But man, I, 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 I just, 
I, I, I don't be so like sold <laughs> on backups that's not improving. Like in general, without putting money on it, just like taking what they did in preseason or taking what they did against, you know, the backups. I don't know how to decipher and judge that because I don't never really I don't I, I, well, I don't put too much emphasis on that. So I gotta see them in the actual competition for them to say any, I'm talking about not even putting my money on them, just thinking they're gonna be doing something like in, in the game or for their team. Like I don't really put too much stock in until I see it at that level. For me personally, I'm a come to the late party type of guy for the most part. Okay. With, 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 with all these backups because I can't. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. If, if your main guy gets hurt, you don't have to pick yeah. up Travis Kelsey's backup. You can have like maybe no. maybe your backup Another is backup. fucking Hayden Hurst yeah, yeah. or uh, Darren Waller from the Giants. Like it's a different player. Like you don't, you don't have to yeah, bank yeah, yeah. on. On the yeah, backup. but but you know it's still the salary cap, and obviously my my, my starters is going to be taking up most of the money because I'm getting the big guys. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm well, I, no, no. Calls. So fan, a lot of fans, so there are leagues that are like that, whatever. But like, oh, nah, cap. like we talking about full year leagues, like like you don't okay, like okay. it ain't no salary oh, cap like that. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so okay, well, so you haven't yeah. played, you haven't really played fantasy football. I didn't play, yeah, though, though, I, I guess I played the, the you like fan duel stuff. Yeah, I don't. No, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, do yeah. weekly. I do season long yeah. fantasy football. I think I think fantasy yeah, football yeah, season long week. stuff. I think that's the ultimate test of chance and football yeah. knowledge at the same time. No, it's it's the, chance the, and football yeah, knowledge. The, the no cap, the, the no cap thing that do I do. You know, I like that. You know, what I mean, because the, the the cap, you just gotta make sure this guy's available. I, I do like the fact that there's no cap. Well, I I, th- I think you would really like it, man, because I think I think if if you if you really really got into fantasy football, because. It makes you watch the whole league. Like it, it makes you accountable to to the whole. It's not just your team. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Like I yeah, love yeah, the Packers. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, and I'm always gonna be a Packer fan. I was like, but but it makes me want to watch the Sunday game with the Rams versus the the Falcons, whatever. Because yeah, yeah. And you know, like like why why do I care about that? Well, because I got fucking Kyle Pitts or I got yeah. I got Bajan Robinson and I want him to go crazy. Like and I mean and it make it makes every game meaningful to you. You know what I mean? Like like whoever's on your team. Like it makes. Yeah. It, just, it creates a, a better viewing experience. Yeah, you know I mean, because who like because yeah, like there's a lot of fans that like they don't really know anything about the league. All they know is their yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, it was a and that's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But yeah, for me, I like I like to know about all these other players, and that's the best way to do it. Like for me, I think yeah. that's the best way to do it to to be in fantasy football. And like, cause you're a guy, most most yeah. sports analysts got a fantasy football team, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do my, I, I do my uh, parlays. I've been I've see. Been that's that you thing. bet, you I bet do, on football. Yeah, so I'm, why not? Yeah, do the- I, I just don't like. I, I see the way I do stuff. I, li- I want it to be almost as short thing as possible. So okay. I do about like a 15, 20 parlay or oh, like the lowest. That's see, that sounds stat. crazy though. Like the, the you need fifteen stat. things about, to hit. Like yeah, yeah like, but <laughs> it's like the lowest stats possible. You okay, know what I'm okay. I, it's like the. The, the last the lowest amount is like do you ever hit like do you ever hit not 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 <laughs> for big numbers not, not for like the thousands of dollars but i hit for a couple hundred yeah okay yeah okay. i hit for a couple hundred you know okay. what i mean not for the thousand i'm still trying to get the thousand dollars hit but yeah I, I hit for a couple hundred but i'm like i don't when it comes to gambling with my money I, i've never been a gambler anyways i don't i don't like it like even like playing basketball growing up and stuff i i, I really don't like gambling I, I i grew up with a family that that, that actually does gamble so I, I I really don't like gamble. I like guaranteed contracts. I like a short thing. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Okay. I like I like I like fully was guaranteed. I don't like the okay. I got to you know the the, yeah. the incentive base per se. Okay. <laughs> but okay. uh no, yeah yeah but uh no nah, that's that's always my thing. So I try to make it a short thing as possible. And like my I, my limit, I definitely don't bet no more than hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Anywhere from twenty to hundred. I try to keep it on the the lower side. But I don't. Yeah. yeah I just don't. I don't. I don't like. I don't really like it. I, I try to take a little chance. You know, everybody play a little lottery ticket from, you know, a dollar lottery yep. ticket, $2 dollar right ticket, to just take a chance, whatever the case may be, and that's all what I do from 1 o'clock games, 4 o'clock games, and then 8 o'clock and Monday night games. You know, I do in brackets like that. Okay. Okay. All right, and then um, I guess – um. Because we, we can't get into deep conversation about our teams. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. What do you think – The prediction, the, yeah. What, yeah. What do you think the Steelers' record is going to be this year, man? What are you looking 10 at? 10-7. 10-7, 7 6 or 7 uh, spot in the wild card spot. One of those wild card spots. Okay. T- uh, ten and seven. Okay. Yeah, we in there. Not nine. And, 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 I, Packers and, nine and, and eight. I, nine and eight. And, and like str- Like I think we. But if we if we get higher, I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ecstatic. But I think we I think we'll go nine and eight Packers. But. Oh man, I I can't wait till we play y'all guys, man. November. Yeah, because this. Yeah, we going. We definitely going to have to 
have you come on my show around that time. Yeah. We're gonna have to make, like I said, we're gonna touch base on it, but we're gonna have to make a whole whole thing of it. Just stay tuned. 280 plus and Fresh Bar Sports Show. We're gonna have to make a whole thing about it. Yeah. Uh Green Bay Packers coming to the Still City in November. Yeah. So yeah, stay on stay, stay stay tuned for that. All right. And la- very last thing, very last thing. Colorado Buffaloes are two and zero, baby. <laughs> Cold, <laughs> Colorado, Colorado. Let's Yo, go. They, take, they take it in personal. We here. You know what I mean? How you we, feel? We, 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 How you feel? How you feel about Coach Prime, bro? How you feel? How you feel I, about this love? Like, how you feel about it? I'm pissed, I'm pissed off. This is the Prime. most exciting I'm shit in college football I, 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 in I, I, years, I'm, bro. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pissed off with Prime because I don't know what's going on with the the limitations on those Sanders jerseys. You can't get two or twenty one because they selling everybody's jersey but him. I'm like, there's no reason why Nike. In Buffalo and Coach Prime, he knows better. He knows the culture. It got that on high demand. We need it. We got to have it. His son, number two, or his other son, 21. We need those jerseys available. So please, if somebody's hearing this, we got to get those things. That's, back the, only, that's the only critique you got is like they need more jerseys. Hey, yeah, of his sons, we need those. And and, and I got a question. When when, when, when are those, those DT Prime Colorado editions coming out? Because I need them fingers on us. I need them mm. secret drugs. Not the Kyler Murray, the additions that's coming out in cleats. I need those Colorado black sneakers that they had on their feet. I need them joints. Them, them cleats, I need them sneakers on my feet. That's Dang, what I need. Man. I need them joints. I need that with the jersey. Yeah. I need it. It's, yeah. it's a necessity. Yeah. I need that black jersey with those black sneakers. That's, that's the only hard. thing I need from Prime, Coach Prime. I love everything they doing. The Rankins, the, the, from the get ranked quickly, that's a whole Prime thing. That's yeah, the, yeah, any, yeah. Any other team, they would have not crack the twenty twenty five like that. That was and crazy. Was just, like the fact that I was like, because I was reading it. I was yo when I was I doing my episode, fam. I was like reading it. And I was like, oh shit, they ranked. Like yo, that's crazy. I, I saw it. When you know the ESPN, the ESPN notifications, top twenty five record just got lit, posted. Colorado, boom. What twenty two? Yo, this is crazy. And I, I, I believe they go undefeated. The college football co- 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 committee, they got no choice but to put them in the top four and be in the playoff because it's good for business. Yeah, they know it's yeah, good for business. Yeah, yeah. You see how packed that joint was in Colorado? Boulder, Colorado. You see how packed that was? Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah, I love yeah, it, man. Good. I love it. I'm, he- I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm hedging my bets because, like, you know, it, it, when they when they face a real tough team, I don't because I like because you, I don't know if you how much you pay attention to college football. Like, I'm not, I'm not in it as much. If, if especially yeah, if my team is not like doing well, I'm not like yeah. super in it. But I, I'm I hedging believe they're gonna cover I, the. Sp- I, I believe they're gonna cover every spread. Any spread they get, I believe they're gonna cover because well, it's right. gonna be well, a close that's, game. That's good for the I believe coach, coach Prime. He got ex coach football players. He got. He got his mindset all instilled in the coaching staff. Like you said, you got to coach the coaches too and yeah. the players. He not playing around. Like how we not playing around with our podcast when we locked yeah. in? You know he's umpteen, umpteen degree with that, with, with his expectations of his team. And he yeah. ain't accepting nothing less from his sons and everybody's on that same level. He's coaching everybody hard, the same. And, yo, it's a star-studded celebrity atmosphere. Yep. You got Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp coming in the PJ, Michael Irvin, Terrell Oh, The list goes on and on. So oh, how long? How long? How long do you? How long do you think he stays at Colorado before he gets a job in the NFL? Or or, 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 or is he going to go to a bigger college first? No, no, nah, nah, I don't think it's going to be a bigger college. I think he's going to make this the primitive place to be, and if he will leave somewhere else, it's going to be to to the NFL. I think this is how many how, how gonna much make, time he's going to put into I, Colorado. I don't know exact time, but I believe because Michael Irvin, you know that's his brother. You know that's his boy. You know they locked in. Keyshawn Johnson, you know they they, they brothers locked in. I'm paying attention to these guys on the uh, on the undisputed. They, they you know what I mean I'm, I'm paying attention for the Nuggets. I got listen to information. They let it be known. Michael Irvin, Keyshawn, let it be known. They had a conversation with Coach Palm. They ain't giving out all the full details. But if that that Cowboys job come up because Mike McCarthy don't do a good job in the next season or two, he believed that's going to be the perfect fit. They said Jerry Jones won't. They they talked about Jerry Jones and and Coach Pond won't get along because they too much alike. That's exactly why they will get along. Michael Irvin would say because mm. Jerry Jones. That's exactly why I like because, this take. Could be, yeah, because because they they going about it the same way. Okay, they going okay. they going to win the, the off season. They going to win the social media, but they putting that work in. Putting you think working. they going crazy in social media? They putting that work <laughs> in and they holding everybody to an expectation of level. We win the championship, except except another less. And we we want all the noise. We want all the attention. We want all the TV shows. We want all the commercials. We want all of that. That's good for money. Jerry Jones' um, organization worth ten billion right now. 
that thing might be worth two, two, two extra three billion messing around with uh Coach Prom getting there. Mm, you know what I mean? I like it. I like so, it. So, so, so stay tuned on that. I'm telling you, Mike McCarthy don't don't perform this year or the next year. Yeah, get him up out of there. Ain't got no problem pay Coach Prom whatever he wants. He get paid twenty nine million at at at, 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 at Boulder, That's Colorado. That's crazy. Come, 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 come. And they they listen. They didn't even have the money at first. Like, like you gotta put that money in escrow. They didn't have the money in escrow. They knew they believed we're gonna get these ticket sales. We're gonna get these jersey sales. We're yeah. gonna get the money back if back 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 tenfold. I heard uh like a couple months later, what what, what um oh my gosh, one not not the endorsement, but the people that be uh donating money to the school. Boosters, 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 yeah, yeah. Boosters, boosters donated twenty eight million dollars to the to, to, to cover that. Hey. To cover that to, to cover that for DR. So like this is going to be his place until I, I know because so much support and the money that they put into that and the stars and everything. His next step is going to be at uh the NFL and stay okay. tuned for that for the for that uh the Cowboys. Okay. Just stay okay. Tuned for that. I say I say man, it depends on how electrifying this this year is. Obviously, I mean, because is, is his son is this his last is this his son's last year or no? Te- technically, he can he can go after or he can come back for one one more. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So I, yo, it's 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 gonna be a short stint. This Colorado thing, the longest is three years, I think. But it yeah. could happen. It could happen after this year. Like depending on how electrifying it is. Now, granted, if he's if he's waiting on a couch, like a specific job, it could take a little longer. So I one one to three years, I think. I think it's it could, it could be that it could be that quick. And I, um, I'm not saying he's waiting on a specific thing. Michael Urban and Keyshawn Johnson just let it be known on Undisputed that they separately had conversations with him and they and, and uh, they let it be known outside noise shut that down y'all think because they too much alike they wouldn't get along yeah no nah, that's exactly why they go w- w- want to get working. They work. yeah 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 okay okay so yeah so i i think man and i, I just i love what i'm seeing with colorado and like like i said just just bringing a team from nowhere for real for real and, and making them more prominent just like that now granted he got a lot of transfer players and and, and all this whatever but like so what like that's that's the part of the game now you know what i'm saying and, and, so yeah that's, and they're, that's, they're, they're performing that's, they're performing yeah. like i mean yeah. This is the way you gonna, play. I think the weak teams are gonna beat the. They're gonna be all the weak. The weaker teams are gonna beat all of them. I, I think can't they, wait to see them play USC. I yeah, USC, I, I they, see them. I gotta see them play they, somebody they, tough. They, they bulky Stanford and don't get the twisted. Or, or, or Oregon. Shout out to my guy, my, my tight end guy, uh, Casey Kelly, that transferred from Ole Miss. He's out there in Oregon. They just put up eighty-one points to the, to a weak team the, the first week of the season, and I, I, I forget exactly how much they scored because uh, they played late, late uh, last night. But yeah. my my thing is they they gonna put up points now. They ain't got yeah. no like. Teams that could put up points that can I'm not saying that they can't put up points, but teams that we know is gonna score and they got them them, them big boys, their weaknesses, their running, their their weaknesses, their um their defensive line for the for the run game, because they're they're running back, they 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 are having their way with them right yeah, now. Obviously yeah. they're they're still winning, but you could tell yeah. they they they're gonna have to solidify that 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 front four, that, that those front seven, wherever the case may be, to stop yeah. the run because they they but they Coach Prom called it out. He knows his big boys is the weakest thing they got right now because it's going to take a year or two till he gets his recruits to come in because you need a certain type of big boys with that mindset and that. Yeah. Attitude. You can't like come on man. You got you can't just be big and just be having a soft mindset, man. They going you going to get ran, ran over by other big boys. You know what I'm saying? That got that yeah. dog mentality. Yeah, I think I mean three years is a little bit short. Whatever, like to yeah to really produce the team that you want and like recruit the team that you want. You I think you need like five. Like yeah, I mean to but you to don't really, you. But but I, don't I don't know him. I don't know if he wants five years. years. I don't think we he don't get them. we don't they get five years we don't get five years and You're coming right. from HBCU coming from um, people don't believe Coach, Coach probably did it the right way. The man coached little league. He coached high school level. He 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 coached HBCU. Oh, you mean he's supposed to be a DB coach for the longest period yeah, of time? Yeah, and, yeah, and, and be a slave, oh, be a slave to. That's yeah. what y'all mean. That's what y'all mean. Now, yeah, we we, we set the trends. We do it our own we way. We said the trends, yeah. Come on, yeah, man. We, yeah. we we do it our own way. Like we're not playing around over here. Like what works for you is cool, but we we got another way to get to get to the ultimate destination too. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. And, and um, he he's proving it. So everybody knows Shannon Sharp and, and, and plenty of people that's close with Prime. They they let it be known. We Coach Prime understands he don't got three four years to get this thing right. He got two, a year or two to get this thing turned around yeah. because. People gonna be doing all the questions. Oh, he shouldn't be there. Getting him up out of there, yeah. and all that. He's not worthy. All, all this, that, and the third. He gotta show up and show out. And I know for a fact. I believe, unless it's like three points, 
anything like four or more, they're gonna cover all the spreads because Coach Prime is not going to set, like have his guys get at, like embarrassed out there. The all the game is gonna be close, whether they lose or not. I yeah. just believe they're gonna be having a chance to win every single game they play out there. And the Shador standards, not I'm not just talking about the, the two performances right there. I was watching at Jackson State, he's growing and yeah. he's a believer and he's getting mentored by Tom and he's just got that 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 winner mentality, like he knows what to do at the right times of the game, and he does what you need it. Your superstars to do it the most in the critical times of the game, clutch moments. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it, man. I love, I love yeah. seeing what he's doing, and um, I'm happy, man. This is like I said, this is the most exciting shit in college football yeah. in years, yeah, in years. Like I don't, there ain't no player that I've been excited. Like, I, I, yeah, well, like I'm they. Not, ain't... I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I had that same energy when he was at Jackson State, though. I mean, ain't gonna lie. Okay. With, okay. Like, cause I was pump, I was pumping him up, and I know it wasn't nothing the most, but I was, I was talking about the moment on my Fresh Bar Sports Show, giving, them, you know, giving the updates of the games from each week. I mean, I know the games was coming on ESPN two and everything like that, not <laughs> the prime time. Yeah, it's been the Ocho, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, I, I cause I, I knew what he was doing, and I felt it. And he was getting stars to come to Jackson State too. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Don't go this the Celebrities was pulling up to the to the scene as yeah. they're going to do a way out there in the West Coast. Yep, yep. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, yo, man, yo, did you have a good time today, man? Yeah, man, this is fun, man. We could keep this thing going, but you know it's football Sunday, so we got to get ready for that. Yeah, we got to get ready for that. Got to get ready for that, man. So, um, yeah, man. So before we go, um, tell people where to find you on social media, and then we'll, we'll get out of here, man. Yeah, man, check out me on all the platforms. I'm on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Fresh Bar Sports Show. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Fresh Bar Sports Show, and then all uh, Facebook and Instagram, Fresh Bar Sports Show underscore. Please uh, tell somebody, tell somebody about the show. Tap in Fresh Bar Sports Show, doing all things sports trending topics, and uh, I think it's going to be uh, interesting for you know a little spin of how, how I do my show. So check check it out. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad to see you growing, expanding, trying new things. Um, it's always a good look. Um, always, always glad to have you, man. Talk sports, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, back and forth banter. It was. I yeah, think, yeah. Uh, we had some good moments in there. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you, should, man. Should be a good episode, man. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. If y'all still watching, man, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, his information gonna be down, down in the bottom. And uh, yeah, this is another episode of the Twitty Plus Podcast, y'all. We out. All right, man. Appreciate it. Yeah.